Hello and welcome back to our Back to Basics for Computer Craft. So I went ahead and made a little farm here. Uh, made some wheat. Uh, we wanted wheat, some wheat to grow. I put a little fishing pond in. But last time what we were doing is we were showing how to make the different pieces for computers. How to make the computer itself, how to make the disk drive, how to make the disk, how to make the turtle. Um, we didn't talk about the monitor yet, but we can talk about that later. And this time we're going to talk about how you can actually make some simple programs. So what we want to do is use this disk drive and the disk. And we have some dirt and some cobblestone. And we're just going to go outside and make a simple program that uh, shows you how to use functions and uh, print and, and things like that in Minecraft, in computer craft. So we're going to go ahead and throw down this disk drive here and put the disk in. And again, I recommend always using a disk drive because whatever you put on it, even if you destroy the turtle, will stay on the disk. So how are you doing there, Stevie? How, oop. I mean, I mean uh, okay. Well, I was trying to pet you, but that'll do. So let's go ahead and make a program. So to use the disk, you just go CD disk, and that changes to the disk directory. And we still have that test that we made yesterday. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new program. And let's call this Build It. So we're going to do Edit, Build It. Oh, sorry, Edit, Build It. And uh, this simply creates a new file and names it Build It. And it's going to be blank. So let's go ahead and make that. Now, the first thing I want to show is a comment. This is what a comment looks like. It's uh, a dash and a dash and the square bracket. And then whatever you want to put in the middle and another square bracket, the closing square brackets, and then two more dashes. And what that lets you do is you can type whatever you want in here and it's completely ignored. And you might think, why would I want to do that? Well, the reason is because you can write a note to yourself so you know what you're trying to do. So let's say build it, bot, and let's say in this one you're going to say, uh, this bot builds a great... house. So now whenever you open this file, you'll know what you are trying to do. And you can hit control. And then you can use left and right and you're going to want to save it. So there we go. We've saved that. So right now, uh, this will not I'm going to control exit. This will not do anything. So ls to list and build it. And nothing happens. So we're going to go back in. And we're going to start using some functions. Now, a function is not a program. It's a little bit different. It's actually more like a piece of a program. It's what programs are made out of. So there's a lot of different functions. One that you might use a lot is print. And what that does is it whatever you put in here is going to be displayed on the terminal. So let's say we say uh, wanted to say build it bot 1.0. OK, now anything that we've t uh, printed in there, when we run this program, it's going to print on the screen, just like that. Now, that's nice, but there's also a lot of programs inside of an API. And an API is its basically just a container for programs. So you can have um, something called Turtle, which is an API. And inside that Turtle API, it's inside that container for programs or for functions. There's a lot of different functions. So let's show a few of them. Let's show the Turtle API function, some of those. So there's um, there's forward, which makes your robot go forward and back. And let's show both of those. So we're going to run build it forward and back. OK. In fact, let's run another function, which is going to do a little bit of a delay so that I can hit escape and I don't have to run so quick. So OS sleep is a function. And what it does is it makes your program pause for this many seconds. You can do whatever you want. Let's say um, two seconds. That's a good amount. So now if we run this program again, we've got two seconds before he does his, his work. So now that's not very useful going forward and back. But he can also do a few other things. He can go up. He can go down. He can go. Uh, he can turn left, so turn left, and he can turn right. And so, when he's turning left and right, this is the front of the turtle. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe a disk drive, although you, 
there's no place to put a disc in. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess it's his eyes. I'm not, I don't know. But uh, he sometimes spits things out of there. Maybe it's his mouth. So when he turns left and turns right, his face is going to turn to the left. And then if you go forward, he'll go uh, left. So let's go ahead and see him go forward, back, up, down, left, and right. So build it. And uh, forward, back, up down left and right okay so there you go if you want to make your robot do a little dance that's as simple as it is so what would you actually do with this well let's show a few other turtle functions you can also have turtles place things that are in their inventory so we're gonna put this in slot one and this in slot two so for example if you wanted him to build a little floor you, let's say you put this in, in slot one you can I usually have him build underneath him, so we're going to have him go up one square. And in case slot one is not selected, we're going to select it. So select one, and that's going to select the cobblestone slot. And then we're going to have him do turtle place down. So he's going to go up, he's going to select slot one, and then he's going to place a cobblestone right underneath him. So save, exit, build it, and he's going to do that little dance. And then he's going to go up one and place a cobblestone. So that's it. If you want him to build something, just use that place place down. So there's a, f there's a program that already exists in Turtles. It's called Go. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to have him go down. And, and he goes right down. So sometimes when I want my turtle to reset, I run that program. So let's go back into it. Now, I remember, remember I told you about this comment. If you want to get rid of some stuff, but maybe you don't want to delete it all just yet, you can just surround it by the comment so there's the start dash dash bracket bracket and then we're gonna go bracket bracket dash dash save exit and now he should only do those last two commands so build it he's gonna sleep for two seconds go up and place that beneath him so go down now that's not too useful placing one block but what you can do is you can program it to move forward and back and up and down and place blocks all over the place. So for example, if we were going to try to make a, a floor, we might want him to go forward. So turtle forward, turtle place down, turtle forward, turtle place down, turtle turn right, and then make him go forward again. And then turn right one more time. And he actually should place a block here because he's moved. Turtle place down. Turtle forward. Turtle place down. Turtle forward. I think this is our last forward. And turtle place down. So what we have him doing now is we have him going up one he selects his cobblestone he places it underneath him he goes forward places it underneath him goes forward places it underneath him so why don't i show you here he should place it underneath him go forward place one here go forward place one here turn right go forward i have him turning right place one underneath him forward place forward place so he should make a little two by three floor here if i run if i've done this correctly so let's save it and exit and run build it so he'll wait two seconds and then he'll start going. Now the thing that's nice about this is he can place almost anything. So for example, if I wanted to have him place a torch, like let's say he made a wall and I wanted him to place a torch on it. Let's have him go down, go right, go forward, and go right. So let's start editing that code again. Edit, build it. And let's say I want him to make a wall in front of him when he's done. So place, uh, just places a wall in front of you. There's also place up uh, if you want to make a ceiling. But a one, a one high uh, house isn't very useful. So I'm not going to do that. So now he's going to place a block in front of him. He's going to go back. And then let's give him a torch. And we're going to do turtle select three. So he's going to select the torch slot. And after he's moved back one, he's made, put the wall in front of him and moved back one, he's going to do a place again. And this time he'll be placing from slot three, which is the torch, torch slot. So let's go ahead and run that program. Build it. 
And there he goes. And the thing that's so nice about this is, let's say this was going to build a hu a nice little uh, house. And this, let's pretend this is a house. So this is our beautiful house. And let's actually take a nap really quick. I don't want any creepers to come in and destroy us. So uh, let's pretend that it made a house and not just t six blocks with a one wall. And the thing that's nice is if you have this program on this disk, all you need to do is pop out that disk drive grab your turtle and move to somewhere else. Let's say you want to build another house right over here. Uh, let's say right up here. Then you just put the disk drive back down. You put the turtle back down. And we need to give him his cobblestone and his torches. I don't think we use the dirt yet, but we'll just put that in anyway. And then CD disk and type in build it again. And we should see him building another house. So it's really powerful. If you program it to do something and you have it on a disk, then you can just bring that disk and the turtle anywhere you want and run that program again. And you can build 20 houses that easily. So um, that's it for this time. Next time we're going to show how to make this, uh, these uh, functions a little bit or these programs a little bit smaller. Right now we've just typed out every single thing you can possibly think. But what we want to do in the future is we want to make it so you can make your programs shorter and easier to read. So we'll talk about functions, making your own functions next time. And until then, happy computing.